Good morning and welcome to worship on this third Sunday in the season of Advent, the time of the color blue. My name is Ruth Lummox and it is my privilege to be in ministry with the peoples of First United Church serving in the city and the county of Wetaskiwin. I'm here in the sanctuary, separate and distanced from Daniel Lummox, who's running our sound and projection, and Audrey Dowler, who has graciously agreed to continue playing. We recognize there are many new restrictions that we are all needing to deal with, effective early, early this morning, and we want to do our best to model good leadership and safe practices. So we encourage you also to be mindful of one another's well-being however you go about your work, your life, your play in these coming weeks. Just a few announcements and things as we get started this morning. I know we have birthdays and anniversaries, and so I sang a little prematurely last week, but I would say happy birthday to Jim Reeb, who's celebrating this week, and happy anniversary to Hugh and Lucille, who will be celebrating 66 years of marriage. Also want to flag that the AOTS Carol Fest, which was online and is still online until the end of December, we've got close to 700 views now between Facebook and YouTube and over $940 that was donated as well as the cartload of food and gifts. So thank you for your generosity and we encourage you, if you haven't already done so, to drop off any non-perishable items either at uh, FCSS, the Salvation Army, or Neighbors Outreach. And we will be collecting a few items, personal hygiene, those kinds of backpack items up until the 15th, which is this week as we put those backpacks together for Neighbors Outreach. Long ago, when some of our ancestors came to this land, there were already people here. And those whose ancestors were already here said, welcome, there is room enough for all. And over the years, we have had much to learn from one another, although we have not always done that well. We have not always lived with respect or been a good neighbor. And part of our work in terms of establishing better relationships is to be sensitive both to the joys that we share and the burdens that we carry. We are all children of one creator, and our gratitude goes to the peoples of Treaty 6 and Métis Region 4, upon whose traditional lands we now gather, the people of the plains, the Sundance culture. Today is Pageant Sunday, and so I'm hoping that somewhere this week you managed to find whatever costume you might need to enter into today's worship service. We want to practice you just a little bit, and so we're going to put some cues up on screen, and whenever you see those, that will be your cue. If you happen to be an angel, when you see that slide, you're going to yell or sing, Gloria, Gloria! And there will be some other angels scattered throughout today's pageant to help you. The other part that we often include is to make your favorite barnyard animal noise. My thanks to the animals at the Wetaskiwin Early Education Daycare who contributed their noises to today's pageant and to all the other folks who thought about it and then wondered about being on screen. It's a little different for all of us. So donkeys, cows, goats, sheep, doves, chickens, roosters, whatever you might be your noise for this morning, let's give that one a whirl. Hee-haw. Oh, we have a <clears throat> bull in the room, I think. So we'll be extra careful this morning. Well, I invite us to take a deep breath and to make space for the spirit as we gather in worship this morning. We come into this week, the third week of Advent, 
a season of joy. And yet there is not much joy in our hearts as we live under more strict public health measures that limit our ability to visit and enjoy time with family over the Christmas season. So again, I ask you to be safe, to be wise, and to share your gifts respectfully. Our first piece of music is on screen. A candle is burning. We'll be singing the first three verses, and when you hear that opening line, you'll know it's a very familiar tune with slightly different words. flame warm and bright, a candle of hope in December's dark light. While angels sing blessings from heaven's every sky, our hearts we prepare now for Jesus is nigh. Our candle is burning, a candle of a candle to signal that conflict must cease. For Jesus is coming to show us the way. A message of peace humbly laid in the hay. A candle is burning, a candle of joy. A candle to welcome brave Mary's new boy. Our hearts fill with wonder and eyes light and glow. As joy brightens winter like sunlight on snow. Our call to worship is printed responsively. And I'll invite you to join in the larger white font on your screen. Like the prophets, we want to come close to God. Like Mary and Joseph, we, we will risk, risk much for, for love. love. Like the shepherds, we are We're called, called to, to share good, good news. news. Like the angels, we, we sing, sing our, our praises, praises to God. God. Like the wise ones, we offer what we have and who we are. As the holy and whole people of God, we celebrate God with us, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. Took a step outside of my walking, found within a beat that we share. Walked with you the length of a lifetime, and made of life a living prayer. How then shall we live? How then shall I live? How then shall I live? Oh God, how then shall I live? Gloria, Gloria. Good news, good news, good news, good news, good news. Hello, my name is Noel Ratch and this is Daniel Ratch. And today we'll be doing the prophet's message of hope for Advent. The prophet's message of hope reminds us to pay attention. Mary and Joseph birthed God's ex expectations for justice and peace. Today, we light a candle and we rejoice.
we add our voices to those who give themselves to God wholeheartedly. God hears our prayers, sends angels with good news, calms our fears, offers shelter for weary souls. We share the shepherd's joy. We are called to rejoice, to go and tell all what we have seen and heard. We rejoice, we, rejoice. we, rejoice. we, we will, will share, share the good, the good news. news. Let us pray. God of God true, true joy, joy. Make, make us, us daring. daring. Heal, Heal our broken, broken hearts. hearts. Free, Free us from, from our prisons. Our prisons. Teach, Teach us, us to rejoice in, in your love. love. In, in our, our living, living, in our in being, our being. May Christ, May Christ dwell, dwell within, within us, us and, and reach, reach through, through, through us. us. Amen. Amen. Don't be afraid. I'll invite us to join together in singing the first four verses of number 75 in the Voices United, While Shepherds Watched Their Flocks by Night. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Dieu est bon. Tout le temps. Tout le temps. Dieu est bon. Well, we are already into the third week of this season of Advent, the time of the color blue. And we've been working with this story that helps us get ready to enter into the mystery that is Christmas. You might remember in that first week, we remembered the prophets who helped show us the way. They pointed the way to Bethlehem and said, stop, pay attention. Something amazing is about to happen. And so in that first week of the color blue, we set the prophets card with their hand pointing the way. And we lit a candle to remind us of the prophets. Here's the light of the prophets. In that second week, in the time of the color blue, we remembered the Holy Family. And they were on a journey, like us, to Bethlehem. Mary was about to have a baby. And so whenever she was weary, she would ride the donkey for a bit. But it is very hard to ride a donkey when you're about to have a baby. So sometimes she would get off and walk. And so we remember the father Joseph and the mother Mary who said yes to God and without whom the baby might not have been born. And the donkey who carried Mary and walked with them those long dusty miles up the road to Bethlehem. Here's the light of the Holy Family. In this third week, we remember the shepherds who were keeping watch in their fields around Bethlehem. 
Here's the card of the shepherds. You can just see one sheep. There were many more, but we will put a shepherd and some sheep here to help us remember. Oh, then the angels came. So Gloria, Gloria. There we have an angel and a shepherd and some sheep. The shepherds were in the fields around Bethlehem, keeping watch over their flocks. They were trying to stay awake so the wolves wouldn't come and get the sheep. When suddenly there was so much light in the sky that it hurt their eyes. They were afraid and their hearts were beating when they could hear something besides their own hearts, they thought they heard singing in the sky. <laughs> then they were really scared until they heard the words of the song. The angels were singing, don't be afraid. Angels often say that because it can be quite scary when you see an angel. The angels kept on singing, don't be afraid. We bring you tidings of great joy, peace on earth and goodwill to everyone. A child is born. Go, hurry, run to Bethlehem to see the child who will change everything. So here is the light of the shepherds. Ah, you'll notice there's something different about this candle. It's the color of roses, which doesn't quite show up on our screen very well, but it is pink. And it reminds us of the great joy of which the angels sang. And it helps us remember that even when it can be somewhat serious getting ready to enter into a mystery, you can't be serious all the time. And so this Sunday is that time of celebration as we get ready. So watch what happens though as I get ready to change the light. You'll notice that right now the light is just in this one place and this one time. But when we change it, something happens. It lets the light spread out and fill this whole room. And maybe even when we can't see it anymore, it's still there. Like the mystery of Christmas. I wonder how you are surprised by joy. Yeehaw, yeehaw, yeehaw. <laughs> well, that leads us into our next song, Jesus, Our Brother. We'll be singing the first three verses of number 56 from The Voices United. Jesus, our brother, kind and good, was humbly born in a stable root, and the friendly beasts around him stood. Jesus, our brother, kind and good. I said, the donkey, all shaggy and brown, I carried the carried his mother to Bethlehem town. I said the donkey shaggy and brown. I said the cow all white and red. I gave him my manger for his bed. I gave him hay to pillow his head. I said sheep with curly horn. I gave him my wool for his blanket warm. He wore my coat on Christmas morn. I said the sheep with curly 
Good morning. I'm Dan Little, and I'll be reading you this morning. Uh, the reading comes from Isaiah 61, verses 1 to 4, and verse 8. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. God has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to, to display God's glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Don't be afraid. 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 The second reading this morning is from Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a young woman engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The girl's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by, the, by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now... Your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month of her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. We are part of the story. Hear what the Spirit is saying to us. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, Alleluia, Alleluia. You know, some say this old world is in a sorry state, and it is. If you want to look at it that way, living under the rule of Rome, not even citizens in our own land, people afraid to go out on the streets,
people out of work, too many hungry souls, and no end in sight. But you know, that's not all there is to life. I am a midwife, and almost every week I get to see what life really is about. And yes, it is bloody and sometimes frightening, and sometimes things go very wrong and the baby or mother do not survive. Then, it is very sad, but death is also a part of life. Perhaps it even makes life all the more precious. In those moments, when I hold a child for the first time, I am overwhelmed by the wonder and mystery that is so much more than I can see or touch. I guess it's not hard to be a midwife and not have hope. Every child brings fresh possibilities for their family, for our community, and one day one of those babies will grow to be Messiah, the, God, the one God has promised to send us. And God knows we've been waiting for such a long time. I wonder if it'll be one of the children I've helped in the world. I was watching them play at the well the other day. Even the soldiers' children joined in. Before long, they were chattering away in each other's language. Now, there's a vision of hope. If only we could learn how to get along, instead of teaching them our prejudice. What might the world be like then? Oh, I just forgot. I need to leave a candle lit tonight. With so many people in town, there's a bound to be a birth. I need to be ready. Who knows? Perhaps tonight will be the night God chooses. Don't be, be afraid. Afraid. Don't, Don't be afraid. afraid. Don't be 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 afraid. Night shift this week. Not everyone likes it, but I don't mind. Sometimes there's trouble. Someone's stealing sheep or goats. But mostly they're just poor beggars. Usually just trying to feed themselves. It's peaceful. I like the dark. Sometimes it's like a cloak surrounding me. And the stars and the moon are just magnificent. Sometimes I can imagine my parents, or family back in Rome, looking at the same stars. I just feel so at peace with everything. It won't be much longer now. Just six more months and my tour here will be done. I'm proud to be a peacekeeper for the Roman Empire. It's part of the reason people can travel so safely and easily, even though it's harder these days. What with the census and all, too many people are on the move. Different tribes fighting over not enough food or water. My friend Jameis is posted in Bethel. He says it's different there. A few years ago, the religious leaders encouraged the people to celebrate Jubilee. Everyone got their own piece of land and pitched in to build homes so people could have a place to live. Not like here. Half the people live in caves or on the streets. In Bethel, there is a community plot of land, and people take turns growing food for those who are unable to work. Even the widows and orphans are looked after. Now that's peacekeeping. Look at that bright star. Did you ever see anything like it? Good news! Good news! Good news! Good news! Good news! Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, Alleluia, Alleluia.
I'm coming, I'm coming. What a busy night we've had. This Roman census has filled every nook and cranny in, t cranny in town. We even had to put a couple in the lean-to with the animals and her about to give birth. What a miracle that life could start and thrive on such a night in, in such a place. It is, it's all so exciting. Well, actually, at my age, every day I wake up is a good day. I start each day with a song of praise to Yahweh, just as the rabbi, just as the rabbi tells us, unless we believe that God renews the work of creation every day, our prayers and the obeying of the commandments grow routine and tedious. Imagine the world new every morning. So great is Yahweh's faithfulness. So me and the world and each one of us gets a new start every day. That's joy. Me, I choose to love for God's work, make all things new, and this night is no exception. I just put my feet up for a bit of a nod when some scruffy-looking shepherds showed up. I thought they were drunk. They had some wild story about angels and a savior being born, and they just had to come and see. So I took them outside and there was a couple with a brand new baby. I heard the woman call the child Yeshua. Did you know that means God saves? I wonder, could this child be Messiah? Such a sense of humor God has. A Messiah born in the back alley, uh, not some distant palace. God knows that there is much that needs saving around here. People are desperate to find work and to feed their families. People are afraid, afraid to speak out, to make a difference. And into this awful darkness, Messiah has come like a candle in the night. Could it really be the long promised? Oh, I feel such joy deep inside. God is indeed doing a new thing. Gloria, Gloria. Don't be, be afraid. afraid. Don't, Don't be, be afraid. afraid. Don't, Don't be afraid. afraid. Don't, Don't be afraid. Good news! Good news! Good news! Good news! Good news! Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis. Where is the room? It is a newish piece for us. It's in the Klusmeyer Volume 2 and the words by Shirley Arena Murray. And I'm going to ask Audrey to play it all the way through once and then I'll invite you to join us in the singing. Oh, 
Let Christ have space, place at the heart of living. Center for births, new breathing. Cradle for hope and peace. Cradle for hope and peace. Let there be room, room for the friend and stranger. Room without hurt or banger. Room for whoever come. Room for whoever come. Let love be the love from the Christmas stable. Love at our open table. Love to be shared all year. Love to be shared all year. I invite us to be a community at prayer. Whatever your tradition to take some time in gratitude is a good thing. To be mindful of the needs and worries of others and the ways in which we can be agents of love is also a good thing. And so I invite you when you hear the bidding, rejoice in God, please respond. Who hears our prayers. Let us pray and we will join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer towards the end and there will be a bit of time for silent prayer. Rejoice in God who, who hears, hears our, our prayers. prayers. God of wilderness paths, of fertile valleys and lofty mountains, you prepare a way before us. May we be open to your coming this time this place in our lives. May we rejoice in God who hears our prayers. God of promise and fulfillment, make straight your path of hope before us. Help us find ways to offer comfort to those who grieve. Teach us words of reconciliation in the midst of bitterness. We pray for those who struggle to make ends meet. For those who are looking ahead to Christmas with only fear and isolation in their hearts. For those already living in violent situations. For those feeling overwhelmed. Guide our actions and words until all your children are able to rejoice in God who hears our prayers. God, you come amongst us as a child. Open our lives to wonder. We give thanks for all the people who teach gentleness and live compassion. May we reach out to those who are hurting, to those who long to be noticed, to those who struggle with criticism or ridicule. Help us to be agents of your love that together we might rejoice in God, who hears our prayers. Holy One, we name in the silence of this time the gratitudes and concerns that weigh upon us.
Holy One, gather our prayers together with all those who seek the renewal of creation. We offer them in the name of Christ, whose coming is already and not yet. And we join our words together in the prayer he taught his friends, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your names. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. So we all get to be angels for a while, at least for three verses of number 36, Angels from the Realms of Glory. So watch what happens when I change the light. You've already seen this happen once today, so you're ready to pay attention. But I want to say thank you to our angels, Lily and Nora and Nora and Clara, and to our scripture reader, Dan Little, to our Advent readers, Dan and Noel Ratch to the kids at the daycare who contributed some animal noises, and to all of you who are joining us in worship, perhaps reliving some memories of pageants past. And we hope that in this coming week, you will find ways to make room in your life for the joy that is the coming of the holy mystery. If you'd like to find out more about First United, you can check out our Facebook page or our website or our YouTube channel has stuff on it now as well. You can also call or email our office. Our building is now closed other than by appointment only and staff are working somewhat reduced hours as previously under public health measures. Everything we try to do to help keep all of you safe and well over this Christmas season. And just like, oh, just like that, the light can change. But it will spread out 
until it fills this room, perhaps fills our lives with the promise of joy. I'll invite us to join together in the words of sending forth. You'll find them on screen, and again, to join in in that larger white font. On this day, from this time, with good news to share, God, God sends, sends us forth in joy. joy. With the enthusiasm of the creatures and shepherds, God, God sends, sends us forth, forth in joy. joy. May God's angels surprise us with hope. May, May peace, peace caress our, our lives. May love open new possibilities for healing. May we deepen in the Spirit's wisdom. May we rest in the peace of Christ. We will travel well. We will travel by the light. Amen. Our going out music today is that round, Prepare the Way of the Lord, which you'll find at number 10 in our Voices United. And Audrey's going to play it through once just so you hear all three parts. And then I will sing with her for one time and then we will round for two times. So Audrey gets four and the rest of us get three. Here we go. Prepare the way of the Lord. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make a straight path for him. Make a straight path. Prepare the way of the Lord. 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 Make a straight path for him. Make a straight path. Prepare the way of the Lord. Prepare the way of the Lord. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make a straight path for him. Make a straight path. Prepare the way of the Lord. 